Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you watch in this channel. Now, whether the people in Kenya Kwanza like it or dislike it, the truth of the matter is that Raila Molodinga is viewed as a former head of state, going by the recognition that is being accorded by the African Union. The former Nigerian leader endorsed Raila's candidature, terming him experienced and most suitable to lead. Olasa Jun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, is in the country right now. A word has it that he has already met William Samoy Ruto. And in fact, he met William Samoy Ruto during the Muranga tour. You know, Will Ruto is on a tour of the Muranga County, trying to woo the people of Mount Kenya back uh, to his basket. But that's the truth, because, because right now, things have fallen apart. Raila Molodinga met Obasanjo. And from the joint press statement by the two leaders, and how Obasanjo showered praises on Raila Molodinga, one could comfortably say that Raila Molodinga is being regarded as a president who was never given a full mandate to exercise his role as the president. That's what Obasanjo fell short of, uh, you know, uh, telling the people. So I want us to dig deeper into this visit by Obasanjo and what Obasanjo said and how Raila Molodinga reacted. But before we do that, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like. That is the only support I request from you, ladies and gentlemen. I was looking at the news and then I came across a story that one of the missions that Musala Mudavadi has is to make sure that Trela Molodinga becomes the African Union Chair, AUC. I sense something, an ill motive or something sinister in this whole thing because these people are technically trying to kick out Raila Molodinga from 2027 succession race. You know, 2027 is going to be tough for William Ruto. So Raila Molodinga, they want him to ascend to the AU chair. You know, AU chair responsibility is a huge responsibility and uh, a responsibility that is that will be bestowed on Raila Molodinga will be coordinating the whole of Easter, the whole of Africa, you know, coordinating everything matters Africa. In fact, he will be representing the heads of state of Africa in various uh, functions. So this is a role that will prepare Raila Molodinga's uh, statesmanship, the stature, you know. It will propel his status in the society. That is why if you listen to Raila Molodinga's recent remarks, when he talked about uh, Kalazo Msioka being a potential candidate for Azimio, when he made that remark, he must have said so with a very good reason because he knew that maybe he was not going to be in the race in 2027. I have now come to realize that Raila he has a secret card. Now that we know that Raila has a secret card, especially from the remarks which he has made when he had on that during that joint press statement with the Basanjo, a person, man or woman, who has experience, who understand uh, the situation we are in, who comes from a background that can. Uh, make uh, a difference. Uh, so all these considerations that I, I am inclined to accept the challenge uh, should the, the leadership of Africa uh, want my services, I am ready and offer myself to be of service to this continent. And I've asked my friend to continue to be a good ambassador. Uh, and, and talk to other people elsewhere. I don't want to say much more than that. And therefore today I, I want to make it pu public that I'm ready, yes, 
to go for the chairmanship of the African Union. Thank you. I can say that the reason why Raila Molodinga is not revealing his cards to the people is because he wants people to keep on guessing. You know, right now, nobody knows whether Raila Molodinga will vie or he will not vie. And nothing stops Raila Molodinga from vying, even if he becomes the AU chair. He will still vie. So the fact that William Ruto and probably Mudavadi, because I think Mudavadi realizes that if he succeeds in convincing the other African heads of state to have Raila Molodinga uh, nominated for that position, then anajua kwamba atakuwa mejipatele upper hand katika presidency. It will be very easy for him to inherit the, the presidency from whoever is going to secure the 2027 slot. Because we know very well that Mdavadi had a in 2027. That's the reality. But we know that in 2032, Mambo yataribika between Mudavadi and Gechagwa. So this idea to have Raila Molodinga go for the AU chair, mina nakuwa maini plan ya kuwakisha kumba Raila Molodinga has been totally eliminated from the political arithmetic. And I said this in my previous analysis. There's a time I talked about uh, this plan. You know, Now it has come to be true, especially coming from someone of uh, that high stature, Obasanjo Munyewe, and Raila Molodinga confirming that he is very much ready for that position. Hiyo inamanisha kwamba uh, 2027 kivumbi kineza kuwa between William Ruto na Kalozo Msioka. Because who else will vie for that position? Probably that explains why unapata Joe Juzi alisema kwamba yeye pia anataka urais. Joe amejitokeza wazi kwamba yeye pia anataka urais. So Joe must have realized that Raila Molodinga is going to vie for the AU chair. Sasa kwa sababu atavai for the AU chair, anajua kwamba ile itabaki wazi. Itabidi kama ye amchague mtu ambaye atamrithi. Na mtu ambaye atamrithi kulingana na venye iko naona pale naona pale kwa DM ni Joe Joe meno na Joe nda Joe ndana style by the way. Ukiangalia kabisa ile card Joe ndana style. Sasa this issue the whole issue <laughs> regarding Raila and AU chair position mimi kivyangu kwa vile nimekuelezea Ruto Mudavadi wanaona kwamba that is the only way for them to survive in 2027 if they don't do that if they don't have Raila Molodinga you know assume that position of the AU chair they will be in for it. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you make of this trip by Obasanjo? Because Obasanjo met William Ruto in Muranga. And word has it that William Ruto has a role to praise, to praise Raila Molodinga. So, in a manisha kwamba going forward, itabidi Ruto aja kumuingila Raila Molodinga. Lakini Raila tazidi kukosoa serikali kwa sababu ilo ndo, iyo ni role yake kama eh, eh, the people's president. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you make of this visit by Obasanjo and the remark from the joint statement between uh, Raila and, and Obasanjo and the response from uh, William Samoy Ruto? Just go below the comment section and tell us what you think about that move. So, perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, please just take one second, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.